This one says in circuit A and B, all resistors and cells are identical. Okay, guys, so what that means is that these voltages are the same and the resistances are the same. Okay, remember that. Now it says, if the power dissipated by Y equals 4P, then the power dissipated X will be what? Ah, now this one is super interesting. Um, sure. So this one really does require that you understand um, electricity quite well. But I do know that a lot of you struggle with some parts of electricity. So the best way that I would do a question like this would literally be to give some values for each of them. So for example, I would let all the cells have two volts, for example, okay? And then I would let all the resistors be one ohm, for example. It doesn't really matter what you choose. It all works out at the end. Okay, because I couldn't think of another way to do this. Um, I think from a student's perspective, the best way here for this type of question would just be to choose random numbers. And then at the end, we can try and make a conclusion. So what we can do now, guys, is we can go calculate the power of Y, and then we can go calculate the power of X, and then we can try to make some type of comparison. Okay, all right. So um, I'm going to start off by calculating the power of Y. So I know that in, to calculate power, I can use this formula, this formula, or I can use this formula. Now, we should have an idea or a good understanding that if you have a EMF or a voltage of the battery as two volts, and these two are in parallel, then wouldn't their voltages both be two volts, right? Yeah, hope that that's okay for you guys. Each of the voltages of these two resistors, because they're in parallel, they will both be two volts. So I know the voltage of this one, and I know its resistance. So I would use this formula to calculate the power. So I could then say um, that, uh, power is equal to V squared, which is two squared over one. And so that means power is going to be four watts. Okay. Then what I would go and do is I would now go and calculate the power in this device over here. So what we should remember is that in series, the voltages are not necessarily, they're not going to be um, two volts and two volts. What will actually happen is that this one here would have a one volt and this one here would have a one volt because they have the same resistance and they have the same current flowing through them. Okay, so that might be confusing for some of you. Um, if your electricity is not that strong, this might be a bit of a, oh, Kevin, I don't really like this one. Um, if that's you, that's okay. You don't have to get every single one of these correct. If you've learned something tonight and you've gotten most, some of them correct, that's fine, guys. Um, all right, just keep doing your best. Okay, so if we're to go calculate, so we, so we now know the voltage and we know the power, I mean the, the resistance for that one. So we could work out the power of X by using the V squared over R formula. And so that would be one squared over one, which is just equal to one watt. Now, I want you guys to look carefully. What we have just found is that the power of Y and the power of X are in a ratio of one to four. So they tell us that the power of Y is 4P. Then what would the power of X be? Well, that would just be 1P. And so C is the answer. 